Now let's look at example four. Example four is similar to example one, except that we have a parameter in the in brand. So we just need to be careful when we integrate a function with parameters inside. Usually it's about piecewise defined function. Okay, so let's look at this problem. This time the density function is given explicitly. It says the density function of certain random variable z is given by f of x is equal to 1 when x is between this interval. It's always a good idea to draw the diagram first if it's possible. So we're going to try to sketch the diagram of this density function. But unfortunately, we don't know where A is, so we just need to use our imagination. This is A minus 1 half, okay? And this one over here is A plus 1 half. If you look at the length of the interval, this length of the interval is exactly 1. Okay? So that's why we have density function over here is 1 over here. This is 1, okay? It's not really up to scale, but that's going to be fine. So this is going to be your density function of f x. Okay. So you still have two points where the function is discontinuous. That means when we calculate the cumulative distribution function, we still need to be careful because it's a piecewise function. Okay. So we need to find this capital F of x for all value of x. x is between negative infinity and the positive infinity. So we don't really know where little x is. Okay. And for convenience, because we are now fixing x, so we should somehow use t instead of x over here for our density function. That's going to be easier. Okay. So now we use t for the dummy variable, and then we're going to look at, again, three different situations. The first situation is when x is over here, smaller than a minus 1 half. So this is one case situation number one. Another situation is x is between these two points, and this is case number two. And third one over here is when x is over here. So x is moving between negative infinity and positive infinity. So case one. When x is less than or equal to, that's fine, a minus 1 half, then we don't have anything. f of t is equal to 0 when t is less than or equal to x, right? Because um, x itself is less than or equal to a minus 1 half. So if we integrate the density function from negative infinity to x and this f of t dt, this is exactly 0. Okay. 0 over here and dt, and then we get a 0. So this is case number 1. Case number 2, that's when x is less than or equal to a plus 1 half and greater than a minus 1 half. It's in between. Like the previous case, we will have a rectangle. So let's try to draw the situation over here. So this is the one. This is going to be a minus 1 half. This is a plus 1 half. And x is over here. This is t. And this is 1. So what we have over here is this area. Okay? We don't even need to use integration formula. So capital F of x is going to be equal to still. The formula is the same. But the little x position is different. So what we need is that this is now going to be from a minus 1 half to x. And your function is 1 and dx, dt. Okay. So what you have is x minus a minus 1 half. So that's the answer we have. Now, you can see that third case is also easy. Because now we have x is bigger than a plus 1 half, right? If a if x is bigger than a plus 1 half, then the entire square actually is included in the um, probability. So what we have is f of x is equal to negative infinity to x f of t dt. 
And this one over here is equal to a minus one half to a plus one half. Everything's included, one dt. And then we will have exactly one. Okay. So we have all these three segments. We can write down in terms of or in the form of piecewise defined function zero if x is less than a minus one half. And it's going to be x minus a minus one half if x is between positive a plus one half and a minus one half. And it's going to be one if x is bigger than a plus one half. So that is going to be the formula of our cumulative distribution function. Now the rest of the uh, are very similar, especially the ex the, um, the expected value. But we still need to be careful, so because this is a piecewise defined function. Write down the formula just in case that um, we have for forgotten. This is still going to be x times f of x dx. Or you, if you prefer use t, that doesn't really matter because we know this is a dummy variable, right? T dt. But you need to remember that now the integral over here is from a minus one half to a plus one half because your function is one in this interval. And then you have over here this t, that's going to be fine, and one dt, right? Okay, so integrate, then you have one half t squared, right? And plug in these values. We don't have to simplify. Sometimes if we don't simplify, actually it looks better. So we have one half and then we have a plus one half squared minus a minus one half squared. And that's the value we have. Okay. And if you look at the expected value, it should be a value depending on the parameter a, but it, you should not see either t or x inside. Now let's look at the last problem over here, last question of this part. Find the expected value of this random variable, just add one half and the square root. Wow, okay, I forgot the square root over here, but it's okay, we will give it a try. Um, so look at E, what's gonna be the expected value of Z plus one half and one to the one half over here. We just follow the formula. So it's from negative infinity to positive infinity. Switch the random variable to x. So this is gonna be x plus one half, okay? And to the one half is the square root, right? And multiply it by f of x dx, the density function. And then we plug in the formula of the density function we have over here, a minus one half to a plus one half. And then here we have x plus one half and to the one half. And this is one over here, dx. Okay. Now you can just use the integration formula to get it. But on the other hand, this problem is designed to be easy. So what we're going to do is so-called use the substitution, integration by substitution. Some of us would say it's u substitution. So we're going to call u to be x plus one half. And then we're going to change the upper limit as well. When x is equal to a minus one half, u is going to be equal to exactly a. Um, a. Is that right? Yeah, we can, we can try because u is going to be a minus one half and a plus one half, right? So that's exactly going to be a. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to change the upper limit as well. If x is equal to a plus one half, then u is going to be equal to a plus one. Okay, so you will see the interval length is still going to be um, one. And also dx is going to be simply du because um, we have a simple substitution. And then 
according to the rule then we have over here this is from a to a plus one and then we have u to the one half and dx is the same thing as du right and then integrate we will have one half plus one is three halves so we have two thirds and u three halves and plug in a plus one and a and this is going to be equal to two thirds and a plus one to the power three halves minus a to the power three halves okay and that is the expected value of this random variable or function of the random variable